Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 12 of Flipping from Zero to Gold Cap with only the Auction House. So let's get straight into it, where have we left off. So last episode we had 1,137,000 gold in the inventory. We've just finished listing other things back up on the Auction House, so let's see what our total Auction House value is. So we're currently sitting at 12.8 million. Oh, we've actually had a good sale too. So we've had a couple of little sales. We've had a good sale here. So we've paid on average 2.1K for this item and we've managed to resell one for 32K. It's a very nice way to start off episode number 12. I believe we've got some mail too. Yes, we do from the auction house. So hopefully we've got some sales in here. Let's, um, let's check it out. Well, we got a fair few sales, nothing majorly big. We got that them cool pirate hats. They've been selling really, really well. Like. Every day or two we've been selling one, which is very, very good. So we've got a whole heap of little flips that have sold. They'll all be making a whole heap of profit on their own, like 50% more than what we actually paid for them or even more. So what we'll do is we'll collect all that. That's another 10K to the inventory. That brings us up to 1,148,000. 1, so what we're going to do now, I think, is we'll run a shopping scan. But before that, if you want to learn exactly how to flip how I am, how to set up TSM step by step, how to make flipping groups and things like that, and how to import my groups with my TSM import strings or my groups, my settings and my operations so you can plug them straight into your TSM and do exactly what I'm doing. That will be all inside of my flipping guide which is the first link down in the description box below this video. But let's get right into this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll run a shopping scan we can see if we can um, find some good deals, try to spend some of this money that is in our, in, in our inventory. There's no point having it sitting in our inventory. We want it to be invested in items that are making more gold for us. So to run a shopping scan, you just go to browse here, and then you can select whichever groups you want to run the shopping scan on. So these are all the groups that I have in my flipping guide. So over the years, I've hand-picked items that, that are really good to flip. All these items sell on a on your own round pacific auction houses they are not on the region wide auction houses and um we've got a whole heap of items i believe there's like is it like 3.6k um of different items that i've handpicked over the years that i know are worth flipping and that i recommend you to also flip so what we're going to do is um we'll run a scan we'll buy a whole heap of things and maybe i'll just show you them in the auction house just to get this one started uh in the mailbox so after we brought some things i'll show you what we got in the mailbox, we'll throw it back up in the auction house. So we're currently sitting at 1,148k. So our goal is to boost up and get a whole heap more of worth of items listed on the auction house. So we're currently at 997 um, different items that are listed on the auction house with a value of 12.8 mil. So hopefully we can spend a bit of gold. I'm happy to spend like a few hundred k and hopefully we can bump up the auction house value a whole heap more. Alrighty, so the scan is just completed. We've got a fair few items that are worth buying in this scan. So let's go through them right here. So the first one is this item right here. There's one listed for only 219 gold. That's absolute steal. The next highest is 1.1K or up all the way up to 3K. Um, if we look at all the prices, they're all around 7K. Then the region sale average is one point. 2k so i think we're just going to buy the one for 219 gold and then we'll undercut the next person that is close to the the region market value so then moving on to the next item we've got an island expedition sword we've actually sold two of these in the past for around 6k each so buying one for 849 is another steal very good deal i might to cut the next person um looking at these recipes I think they're worth the risk we've got a bit of money to play with so if you look at all the prices the the market value is for this one 54k if you look at the region market value average it's 99k and um it's got a low sell rate however there's only one listed of both of these on my server so we will have the market if we actually buy these up and we'll be able to relist them for the maximum price so the first one will relist for 118k so paying 7.7k is all right for that. And then moving on to the next one, it's got a bit higher sell rate, and just like the other one, we'll relist this for 118k. 
and there's two of those and we're only paying 9.8k each so we're going to buy both of those up and um, we'll see how we go with those they do have a lower sell rate however we are planning on flipping for a long time so we should be able to get the sales eventually with them okay so moving on to this item right here it's got a really good market value and historical price now what we'll do with this item is buy them all out so every single one of them and try to like reset the market on our uh, the market price on our realm so we'd relist them all for about 16k each um, it's not much of an investment to to risk so i think we only invest and buy all of those up and then we'll relist every single one of them for 16k each we only really need to sell one and we've made all our money back so it should be a pretty safe um, flip to do it's got a good sell rate the only thing the region sale average is a bit low at 1.8k however on our round we should be able to get the the 16k let's just scroll down make sure we got the right one selected yep so we brought every single one of those which is what we wanted to do so let's go back up i believe there's an item right here so this right here the fallen rune lords striders now there's two listed for 3k each and if you look at all the prices, like the market value is 15K, historical price 25K, region market value average 22K, um, the historical region historical price 18K, and the region sale average 6K. Now there's two listed of these for 3K each. We're gonna buy both of those up, and we'll relist them at 22K each. So that should be a very good flip if we manage to sell one of those. Moving on to these right here. I'll make sure that we actually brought all of those. We did, we did. So moving on, there was another item here. So these items right here, this is just a nice little flip. They've got some good region prices. The market value is 1.2K. Uh, there's two listed for 250 gold. We're gonna buy both of those and we'll just undercut the next person at um, 750 gold. It's not really worth buying the ones for 750 gold. We can just undercut them. So if we get a sale here, that's just a nice little uh, 500 gold profit why not so we got another one of these patterns I think we're gonna buy it the sell rate is low um, however the prices are high pretty high for these like the market value is 47k um, there's three of them listed and they're only 9k each so we're gonna um, we're gonna take the risk and we're gonna buy all three of those up and we'll relist them for 96k each if we manage to sell one that's all our money back plus like 70k profit so i'm happy to take that that risk all right these have got a really really good sell rate like really good now there's some listed for really cheap what we're going to do is buy them all the way up to the 325 ones and then we'll uncut the ones at 325 so we'll buy all the ones for 46 gold 40 48 50 50 50 and we'll also buy the one for 112 gold just to bump up the price so the lowest price is 325 gold for this item so the green winter's cloths and um super cheap uh super good sell rate too so um should be a good flip and i won't mind having these just because the sell rate if you look at it the sell rate is 0 0.166 so it's very very good sell rate we should be able to sell these fairly fast so we're going to buy them all up to the 325 using our TSM macro down here to buy them up just spam clicking one and we'll buy the next one that's in the row and we've got one more to buy make sure we're on the right item so we are we're on this one right here 112 gold and we've brought that up so let's move back down to the items we're looking at here so here's the item I wouldn't buy um, the feel of the market price it's went up 702 percent to 451k there's one listed for 100k you don't want to buy things that just have a huge market value that just means it's super overpriced on your realm and will be very hard to sell so definitely not worth buying that for 100k at the moment if it was like super cheap say if it was like listed for 1k or 500 gold then it would be a great deal that's why it's in the list of the groups but moving on we're going to buy up all of these so this here has got another good sell rate some shoulders and they're pretty cool looking we've actually we've actually brought these in the past and we're going to buy more of them we're going to buy every single one of these that are listed for 110 gold and we'll undercut the top highest price so that's at 2k 
and we'll um, relist at that price. So let's buy all these up. Buy, 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 buy. And if you look at all the prices, they're all above um, like 2K. The market price is 540 gold, but that's still way more than the 120 gold we're paying for each of those. And if you look at the regional sale average, and the regional sale average means what it sells for on an average on the region, and region just means, say if you're playing on the NA servers, it means like all of the NA servers, it's the average price across all of those. And that's 1.6K. So paying 120 gold each is definitely worth it for this item. So this is a cool item. So this is the fest festival dress. And it's really cool looking. And now there's a whole heap of them listed. And we actually have some already posted. So what our goal here is, is to get rid of all these ones that are below our listing ones. And um, we'll buy all of those and we'll relist them for the 2.3K, just like our other one. That way we're getting rid of all this so when sales happen for this item which it has a really good sell rate um it will be actually our item selling not not all these cheaper ones and paying 453 gold for these is a very good deal all the prices are above 2k for this even the region sale average so i'm happy to pay the 483 gold each for these any day Let's buy them all up to where we currently have the market price sitting at, where we've got all these listed, which is at 2.3k. And we'll basically post them for the same price we've already got ours listed for. And this way, all the competition is gone right here. We own pretty much all the stock for this item. It will take a while to sell, but it's got a good sell rate, 0.072, um, which is pretty decent for cosmetics and transmog pieces. And then over time, we can simply sell this. Now this looks really cool and people do buy this for the appearance. It is a cosmetic and um, a lot of people would be interested in this piece. All right, so we've brought them all up to where we had the market price at 2.3K. So let's move on. So last episode, we actually bought the shoveler. We, uh, we brought four of those for a smart average of 2.6K. There's one listed right now for 5.8k we're going to buy that up and we'll relist at the next highest price which is actually this person here which we're going to in two hours ours will expire and we'll undercut this guy we'll post at the same price he's got it listed as which is 35k however we'll post it after his so we will have the the um he will be undercut by us by us just posting after him will make us have the first sale moving on here we've got a Island Expedition Polearm. Now there's three of these listed, as you can see, for 4,999. All of the prices are much higher. We've sold one in the past for 7.8K. The market value is 18K, and you can see all the region prices right there. And then the region sale average is 6.3K. So this is definitely worth buying these three right here. We also have two already, so what we'll do, we'll buy the three. We'll relist the three with our other ones at the exact same price, so 36k for each of those. Let's just have a look at it, and this looks pretty cool. Uh, Island Expedition uh, pieces are hard to farm, it's got to be the right week, you've got to get lucky with the box. Um, that's why they're so good when it comes to flipping. So, moving on, oh, this item right here, I didn't actually select this, but this is a, a item worth flipping actually. So there's a few of these. If you look at all the prices, they're all above 10k. And we've got one, two, three, four. So we've got four here listed for 5k, and the next highest is 50k. We're gonna buy all four of these up that are for 5k, and then we're going to post the same price as this person at 50k. So we sell one, we've made all our money back, and then the rest are just straight 50k profits. If they sell for that, the region prices say it's about 10 to say. 20 20 about 28k for this item it should sell for but we should we could be able to get the 50k for it um we'll see how we go with that item so moving on we've got another festival festival suit so this is another cool looking thing basically the same thing as before we're going to buy all the ones out that are listed for 492 gold right here all the way up to ones where we've got them listed already for 1.6k 
and then we'll repost all of these at the 1.6k at the same price of our other listings. That way we control the market once again for the festival suits and we'll have a whole heap of stock for these. They have a really good sell rate, 0 0.086, which is very good for cosmetics and transmog pieces. So we're happy to sit on a whole heap of these and sell them over time for a much better profit than what we are actually paying for them. So we've got two more to buy, and then we're at our market price where we've got the market set to. We bought that one. Did it buy? Yes, it did. All right, awesome. So we're going to the next piece here. There's two of these listed for 1.1K. Um, all the prices, like the, if you look at the market value, it's 3.7K. So we're happy to pay 1.1K for these right here. We'll buy two of these that are listed for the 1.1. Then we'll, we'll post for the same price as this dude right here, which is 3.1K and uh, we'll post after his, so ours will be the first to sell if anyone decides to buy that item. Alright, could this be good? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is this is a good deal right here. So we'll buy that. There's one list for 1k, the rest are 3k. We won't buy the 3k ones. We'll just buy the 1k one and we'll post the 3k. Here's another item. So there's a few of these listed for 279. If you look at all the prices, they're all above like 600 gold. So I'm happy to spend uh, buy them all the way up to the 693 gold right here. So we'll buy all of these ones right here. I think that is about it for today's scan. So let's just make sure we buy the rest of these up. And what we'll do right now is we'll go get everything out of the mailboxes. I think we've got some expired listings too. Hopefully some sales waiting in the mailbox also. So um, we'll go check that all out. Yeah, so we only have the 413, so there's going to be a whole heap of items in the mailbox that do need relisting. So what we'll do is we'll head over there now, we'll start getting them out, we'll get out all the ones we brought first, as you can see, and then we're going to have to collect the rest, the rest of the 659 either sales or items that have expired. So let's get all the ones that have brought out. I'll leave all the sales in the mailbox to show you after I've finished relisting everything. Hopefully we have some sales, I'm not too sure yet. It's been about a day or so, so I'm assuming we've been getting a fair few sales every single day now that we've got a big stock of items. Um, I'm assuming there should be some sales, some big sales in this batch of mailboxes. So I'll relist everything up in the auction house and I'll get back to you once we've just got sales left in the mailbox and we can also check out the total value of the items that are on the auction house, the total worth of everything that is listed once we have everything up and listed on the auction house. All right, so we've cleared out the mailbox, we've listed everything. Um, we've got a few sales here from the last day or two. Um, the main one being this one right, right here for 30K, which is a island expedition piece. Um, we'll just have a look. And then the others are just normal sales. They're all over 50% profit, some up to like the two, 300% profit. So we will add the add this 38k to the bags. We'll have a look how much that Island Expedition one for 30k gave us in profit. All right, so here's the item that we ended up selling. Um, we've actually sold seven of these in the past. We've brought nine, so they've actually been really good sellers for us. On average, we make a 10k um, 10k gold profit on each sale. Total profit is 74k with just this item, which is very very good. So we paid about anywhere from 600 gold to 2,400 gold for these. We managed to resell that one for, if I just scroll up here, for 30,000, so 30,432 gold. So that's a very good profit off that, around a 28, 29K profit, just from that one flip, which is very, very good. Now we do, we have also listed everything up on the auction house. So let's go check the total value. We have 1,048K in the inventory currently and we have oh we're in the 13 million so we have 13 million six hundred and ten K worth listed on the auction house it's growing super far alrighty guys so we're, it's about the next day it's been about I think about a day what we're going to do is just have a quick little update um, we got a sale when I was relisting all the items back on the auction house so we got this sale right here for 36 K and we only paid on a smart average buy 5.5k for these we've brought six of those 
and we've managed to sell one before for 7.8 and then we've sold this one for 36k nearly 37k which is very nice and then we've got some sales left over in the mailbox sort of show you them real quick nothing too big but we got a couple decent ones we got this one right here and um, the 15k one and a 5k one which is pretty decent we'll have a look how much we profited on the 15k one all right so here it is right here so we've brought five of these in the past for a smart average buy of 3113 and we managed to resell this one for 15k so 15,566 gold which gives us about a um, a 11 to 12k profit on this item which is very very nice and it was these shoulders right here they're pretty cool looking that was a bigger sale so far however I'll come back tomorrow and hopefully have some more sale oh actually the bigger sale was the one that's in the um, auction house for the 36k but I'll come back tomorrow hopefully have some more sales and we'll go from there we're currently sitting at 1 million 71k welcome back guys it is the next day what we're going to do is clear out the mailbox and we're going to do a shopping scan to see what good deals there are up in the auction house at the moment so what have we got here we've got a fair few sales but a couple of good ones we've got that 35k one from yesterday that we showed in the previous clip and then we've got a 4.6k sale of the dark moon vest <coughs> of fire flash so let's collect all that up that brings us to 1 million 112k uh, let's head over to the auction house we'll check the total value of the auction house at the moment curious what are we sitting at so 4 million 208k very nice and we've got 1,004 uh, 1,045 items listed so at this point we've got so many items listed we're getting consistent sales without doing cancel scans and reposting uh, we just post for the 48 hours and with this amount of items listed we're getting a decent amount of sales per day anywhere from like five to ten sometimes even more uh, per day which is very nice so what we're going to do now is head over to browse and we're going to run a shopping scan now we're going to run it on these groups right here so these are the groups we're going to be scanning the all transmog scan is if you've got over like you've got a little bit of time the scan will take longer because there's an extra three thousand items in that group so if you just want to do a quick scan, I recommend just running the ones that we selected with or without the or transmogs. And um, if you only have a little bit of time and you want to just check what is on the auction house. Now all of them groups, you can find all of them inside of my flipping guide. So you can get the TSM import strings where you can simply plug the groups in to your TSM and you'll have the groups with their operations and settings for buying and reselling. What we're going to do though is we'll let this scan finish out and let um, let it scan out fully and we'll just go through and we'll get any good items that are worth buying alrighty so the scan is complete we've got a couple good items here so we've got first off we've got this recipe one's listed for 114 gold only um, the market price for this is 12k and there's actually a couple listed um, at 11,000 and we also have one listed for 11,000 so we're going to buy the one for 114 gold most definitely it's a very good deal all right so we've brought that perfect moving on to the next thing we've got this companion so there's one listed for only 18 gold all the prices well the market price of my round for this is 1.6k and the other prices for the region are around 500 gold there's one listed for only 18 gold so that is a no-brainer we can easily resell that and we'll just undercut the next people at 1k gold so moving on to the next item so this one where was it it was this one right here so this, there's one of these listed for 45k now it's um this transmog piece however the next one listed is listed for 269,000. and if you look at like the the market value it's 239k um, all the region prices are above 200k and then the region sell average is 62k so that is all higher than the 45k oh, we just got a sale come in how much we pay for this so we paid 55 gold for this we just resold this item down here for 
and ninety. Uh, what was it? Four hundred and ninety four gold. All right. Anyways, back to this uh, mace right here. This island expedition mace. They're all higher, all the prices than forty five k. Now the sell rate is kind of low, but I'm happy to invest forty five k at the chance of getting back um, three hundred and sixty nine k. So we're going to buy that up right now. Moving on to the next item that I picked out right here was this one. So we've got one listed for um, 2k, and then the next highest is 5k. All the prices, the market price is 10k, and all the prices are way higher than the 2k. Went to buy the one listed for 2k, but wanted to cut the next person at 5k. Moving on to the next item. So this one right here, this could be worth buying, and I think we are going to invest into this. So this is a headpiece. It's pretty cool looking, got an okay sell rate, and now there's one listed for 4k. And what we'll do is we'll buy this, and we'll be able to resell this for about 18k. And as you can see, we've brought two in the past for way, way cheaper. One for 37 silver, actually, and one for 1k. We managed to resell them both. Well, one for 1,425, and one for 11k. So I'm happy buying one for... 4k we've had good sell rate with this and success reselling it and so that's definitely worth buying now moving on this item right here we've brought a whole heap of these in the past and what we're going to do is just get back to our market price uh, we won't buy this one right here because it's in the middle it's nor here nor there um, and it should sell eventually and then we just have all our set at our market price that we want to be selling for actually shout out to this this guy he's a um, he's a buyer of the flipping guide and I speak to him on discord sometimes um, so yeah shout out to you man but anyways let's buy up the rest of these the ones listed for 150 gold and what we'll do is we'll just repost at our price here at 1999 gold and we've got a whole heap of these items hopefully they start selling we've um, invested into about 24 of them so far but they've all been really, really good prices for any like around a hundred gold each. So definitely worth buying. Now moving on to the next item, we've got another um, pet here. We've got a companion. So there is a few of these listed, three of these listed in total, all under hundred gold. And what we're going to do is buy them all out, and we're going to reset the market to six hundred and twenty-nine gold. It's got a decent sell rate, and we should be able to sell this pet pretty quickly. So let's buy up. All three of those, or well, there's actually one here right here where there's five listed. So we're going to buy up every single one of these, which I'm happy to do. We'll buy whatever the stock is for all of these. There should be about like eight, eight or nine of them there. And then we'll relist every single one of them, like I said, for 629 gold at the maximum price. Let's buy up the rest of those. We got two more to buy right here. One more to buy. All right. Moving on to the next item that I had picked out here is a Island Expedition pole arm. Let's just have a look at it. Not the craziest looking, however, there is a couple listed for, well there's three listed, they're all for 1k, and one is ours, so we're going to cancel that one we have for 1k. We're going to buy all of them, and then we're going to repost them for the maximum price, which is 14k. So we can make a bit more profit of even the one that we already owned. And then I think this is the last item that is worth flipping in today's scan, which is this item right here. The market value for this is 12k. All the region prices are above 5k. And we've got one here listed for 5k, the rest are listed for 10k. So we'll buy the one for 5k, and then we're going to undercut the others, posting at 10k also. Alright, so let's go grab these. We'll throw them up in the auction house. And then I think what we'll do is we'll come back a bit later on today, maybe tonight. And we'll see if we've got any sales and we can maybe run another shopping scan or we could do a big scan and do the all transmog scan and um hopefully come across a whole heap of really 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 good deals so let's go to auctioning run post scan and let's post up all of these items that we have just invested in and that now brings up our total worth in the auction house to 14 million five hundred and seventy one K and we've also got this sale from before that we only paid 55 gold for reselling for 494 gold 
But anyways, we'll come back later on tonight. Hopefully we have some sales and we'll do a shopping scan, probably do the ore transmog shopping scan and uh, see if we can find a whole heap of really good deals. Welcome back guys, we're on the flipping character. It's been about a day or so and um, let's just check. We've just finished listed everything up on the auction house. Let's see where our total worth is at currently. We might have to reload here. All right, let's reload this. We'll see what the current worth of the auction house is sitting at at the moment. Let's let it load up. All right, it's showing now, awesome. So we've got 1,061 items listed for a total worth of 13,606K. And where we left off, we had 1,050K um, in the inventory. And I believe we've got some sales. Yes, we do. Some pretty decent sales. So we've got two pieces of the Tob Keepers um, armor set sold, so someone obviously was buying the whole set for that. So one for 16k and one for 4.7. Uh, we got an island expedition piece for 13k, and then we got a Razor Fin Great Belt for 50 up uh, for 75k. So in total, that's 112k. We're going to add that to the inventory, which brings us up to 1,162k in the inventory. So we're looking very, very good. I think this is where we're going to end episode number 12 if you'd like to learn exactly how to flip how i am with all my tsm groups settings and operations which you can plug straight into your tsm and do exactly what i'm doing you can find that all inside of my flipping guide which will be the first link down below and also be up on the screen right now anyways guys hit the thumbs up button if you've been enjoying the series go back if you haven't seen all the videos in the series there is one to 12 episode 1 to 12 that you can watch um, before this so if you haven't watched more I recommend starting from the beginning watching our journey along the way where we started from zero gold and we've worked our way up to where we are right now the end goal is to get to gold cap with just flipping on the auction house anyways guys hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and also check out the flipping guide which is the first link down below till next one take care